now the shaft of the femur is in this direction it's not straight it is in this direction okay this is the line of the direction of shaft of the femur this is the direction of the neck of the femur now neck and shaft together are forming an angle which is called as neck shaft angle it, it, it is also known as angle of inclination this angle of inclination is 126 degree normally the angle of inclination the neck shaft angle is 126 degree in adults this proximal femur you can see is forming an l an inverted l is l shaped so that the long axis of l is in the direction of the axis of the sh uh, shaft and this ang the angle between this neck and shaft is between 115 to 140 degree averaging at 126 degrees this angle is decreased in female due to a wider pelvis the angle of inclination allows greater mobility of the femur bone at hip joint the second angle which for is formed in the femur is between tro greater trochanter and shaft you can see the shaft of the femur is in this direction while greater trochanter is in this direction shaft greater trochanter now this trochanter shaft angle is about 8 degrees in adults and is an important radiological parameter which provide us the idea of direction of medullary canal third angle which is formed by the femur is between the upper and lower end the angle which is formed between these two end is called as angle of femoral torsion it is 7 degrees in male and 12 degrees in female.